Hello everybody, today I wanted to show you Dreadnought on the PS4, share my thoughts on its performance being that it was formerly a PC game, a brief overview of the game itself, and give you an idea of whether or not it is worth your time. Dreadnought is basically a slow moving scrimmaging game, not unlike the games such as World of Warships, but in space. You can upgrade and unlock ships through tech trees. Again, if you've played similar games, you know what to expect from the progression. What I found surprising was that not most, but all customizable options for your ship are purchased through the premium currency. On the gameplay side of things, the game seems pretty solid. There are three different kinds of ships. The huge destroyers, tanks that can take the most damage while having access to mini rocket options, the artillery, Cloakable, less durable, with huge DPS. Then there is the tactical ship, which is the support class. Weak damage, but are essential in healing and keeping your team alive. So far, the game hasn't run into any weird PC to PS4 issues, in contrast to something like War Thunder, for instance, which still had a mouse in its game. However, the gameplay leaves much to be desired, in my opinion. Currently, only Team Deathmatch is available, although more will be added, of course. It's not that the modes aren't varied enough though, it's that the matches themselves can be very repetitive, only halfway in. You have unlimited lives, and you have the same set of options available to you throughout the entire match. These are only my opinions, of course, so take everything with a grain of salt. If you're interested in what you see, definitely check it out if you get a key, or when it goes into open beta. However, if you do have a PC you can game on, try checking out something like Crash Space, or even start conflict if you want faster gameplay. For PS4 though, this is the best option we have for a tactical space combat game. Thanks for watching everyone.